Hello and welcome back to MoSport, site to race number eight of the 2008 Coke Vanilla Cup Series season. And join me once again in the booth as they have all weekend is Stephen Paul III and Austin LaPlante. Hello guys. Hello. If you did not watch the duels, then you would not have known that Max Anderson and Isaac Flickinger will start on the front row today. Isaac Flickinger taking home the pole award. Rob Evans and Henry Williams will make up row two. With Delon Abrahemian, Ali Nelson, row three, Kira Arenthade, Ryan George in row four, and Alexander Rowe and Zach Rogers starting in row number five. Here's the rest of the starting grids. I hand over to Austin and Steven for their thoughts and predictions on this one. So I'll go first. So it's going to be an interesting race because this is going to be one of the longest races in Coke Vanilla Cup Series history, probably longer than the 600 in uh, uh, time length here. So looking for pitch strategy, turn three, the final corner, and some of the corners are going to be death. So look for the drivers to navigate. Mary Shelley, Steve Pollard, and Steve Paul III are the four winners at that track. So look for them to be the favorites here today. And look for Allie Nelson starting the front. She's at 89 races, and she really wants to get that W. Our final row is Qualls and is uh, Chris Wilson, the points leader, as I headed to the plant. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, as Stephen said, the turbo turns will be three and a part of five as you probably get off game rate down to John and Dre straightaway. And turns nine and especially ten if you're off the final corner and into the tires, it will not be that fun. Charles? Morrow, you dread it straight away. <laughs> As they mentioned, Chris Wilson comes in points here comes command. Drivers, start your engines. Rest of the top 10 in points coming in. Mary Shelley comes in 11 points back in second. Max Anderson is 32 back third, the top winner in the points. Ryan George, Derek Campbell. Prowls oh, for Ryan oh. George! Of course prowls for Ryan George. Why not? <laughs> wow! Uh... <laughs> So Ryan Gregg was fourth in points coming in. Derek Hamill's fifth. Jessica Shelton. Uh, now I'm going to have to say it as we're going. Holy crap. The break in the field. Uh, yeah. Jessica Shelton, Gene Sanford, JT Bryant, Matt Dixon, and Tristan Wilhoyd are the top ten in points. Top seven could leave here as the points leader. As we've got a dwindled field coming to the green. Green flag is out for the David Ayers 420. Uh, we're going to have to watch the back of the pack if they crash off that corner there. Just going to have to keep a note of that. Just going to have to see the screen here. Everybody looks like they made it so far. Nobody's spinning. Well, someone did spin. Pretty uh, shot and Jackie Tanger on the pit lane. I think they got black flagged or something. 18 car flying. And Williams goes wide. Way out there. We got an hour left, boys. We got <laughs> oh! contact with Nelson. Oh, they're beating Peg on lap one. As top four Arsenal. God. Give and take, man. Well, not a lot of give <laughs> wow. going on there. And Henry Williams said, screw you to Nelson. <laughs> Sorry, Austin, you're trying to say something? No. Kind of the same way out there. And you see, there's the first trouble spots. What a yeah. one of two. This is going to be the next trouble spot as uh, somebody might hit the wall off this corner lap one. Well, Derek Hamill trying to look for a way around the 19 of Zach Rogers. Yeah, I'm going to want to pass this corner. Oh, boy. Going to think better of it for now. Uh, one thing that I will say is the pit wall, if we have something happen in the front of the field, will be an issue. Uh, we saw that yesterday if we watched the truck race, for sure. And Ryan George will not take the green flag, technically. Oh, no, this could be a LePage. Pretty Shaw off the pit lane, the principal financial group Chevy. Uh, incorrect, Charles. The 49 did technically take the green flag. <laughs> technically they did, but technically they also took it on the tow truck. Uh, very, oh, God. Isaac Flickinger gets a couple wheels off in the grass. Didn't Isaac win the truck race yesterday? Yes. Oh, wow. What a good weekend for Isaac so far, man. He won the dual race. or <laughs> Yeah, he won his dual race, too. What is he going for, the clean sweep of the week? <laughs> well, technically, uh, depending on if... What is he, Kyle Porch? Because I can't confirm or deny whether or not Hooters actually went up this week. Zach uh -oh. Rogers, Henry Williams battling for the seventh position, though, as they come down the Mario Andretti straight. Yeah, so this is where the first we might see somebody dying. Oh, my Lord. Oh, Contact! Oh, sideways! <laughs> Contact! Oh boy, no he's going to be out there a little bit. Oh. 
<laughs> and Derek Campbell might have been a big loser out of that. The 19 yeah. went so the 19. That was a pretty hard movement to that corner right there to save it. I did see skid marks on the pit road with the, with uh, the glitch. Yeah, so that would have been the. But it could be during fifth. happy hour. I don't know. So, the 11 cars. To confirm what that one was, most likely, uh, total guess, but I'm pretty sure and confident that that was the 01 in the 50 that we saw the skid marks for. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense because they wouldn't they wouldn't have got a black flag coming to the green flag. As another, here comes this is interesting. Here, let's see if Anderson can he come here. He won a road course in Road America, so he has good road course status this year. And trying to find a way around the 01 of Pretty Shaw. Looks like he should be able to make that pass work here. This isn't even well, poor position. Almost reminiscent of uh, Edmondson. Well, the, old one, the old one's got damage. True. Probably oh, what happened was the 50 came down into the 01, and that's how the. Oh, that's damage. right. The 01's on the lead lap. My fault. Sorry. 01 is not on the lead lap. That is. They no, are 41st. Not, well, it's not really usual to have a lap car lap three in a 43 lap race on a road course. That is true. Allie Nelson nearly got the grass. Uh, the, well, okay, yeah, I see the skid marks on pit road, so that confirms that. So, yeah, so the 01 and the 50, they got together on lap one. You will have already seen that on the side by side. Yes, and we'll see it after the race ourselves. As the, the lot every he having a struggle in season, we saw him on page two weeks ago. I believe he made it at Chicagoland, but has been really running too well this year. Trying to find a way around Rob Evans. This is the battle for third between the Mikasuki Chevrolet and the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. Um, for definitely Rob Evans. Every race he runs, he's top five, top ten. He's like the Tom Shelley of last season. But every race he runs bad, he DNQ. So a lot, gotta find some consistency for that 09 car. 87 out wide a little bit, so was Delano Bohemian, but today that grass not as dangerous as it was on Thursday. As evidence uh, right there, Derek Camel was way out in the grass, but Baranowski is not able to complete the pass. It's a miracle. Uh, nobody has really died so far, so here comes the commentator's jinx. Uh, yep, good job. <laughs> uh, I I'm just confirming the commentator's jinx, and the 11 car getting a little I mean, wobbly you just, you there. You didn't have to mention it. As Baranowskis all over the back bumper is going to maybe go out a little bit wide. It's going to keep on the yeah, rumble strip at least. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Lap five here. We're going to have like three or four pit stops during the race, I think. Uh, I believe it's going to be about a three stop race, I believe. So, Max yeah, Anderson. You're probably right about that. Yeah. So, Max Anderson looking like to tr hopefully try to be the first person as Amy Shelley to have a DQ in his season and be the points leader at the same time. <laughs> to be fair, there's only been a couple seasons of that as Pretty Shaw now trying to re-overtake the 87. Uh, this is where Dan Lapcar's video comes in, in fruition. As it, now the 01 makes the move on the 87. Yeah, that's not going to get a lot of good flack. Rookie driver not knowing what she's doing right there. Uh, I mean, to be fair, she just ran the set. Well, okay, everyone's running quick laps. Well, there's no so. cautions, and your race is pretty much done. Just get the hell out of the way. <laughs> pretty shot. Uh, backs out of it going into the well, S's at least. Well, at least she did that because the 87 would have had a fistful of tires in the nose there. <laughs> Looks like Allie Nelson yeah, going to fall right back to the 37 now. Allie's best finish came second and that's to Norma two seasons ago in season four as the 19's almost dead. Zach Rogers almost got into the grass. That's might that might open the door for Derek Camel. So Allie's pretty good at the road courses. She finished second to Tristan that day when Tristan was running the 21 car at Sonoma. As right now the race lead is 2.8 seconds for Isaac Flickinger thanks to the 01 battling. And the note, if Isaac can somehow win this race too on strat uh, if he has fast or strategy doesn't bite him, Isaac, is, this will not be Isaac's first career win. If you guys watch 8-Bull, he pulled off a win there too in the Curse 78 car. True. And Amy Shelley already getting them that win earlier this season to kind of help keep their trend going. Yeah, Drew Ross just messed it up. Big battle right here, though. Alex, well, I was going to say Alexander Rowe, but then uh, the 29 and the 42 actually starting to battle. This is for 16th. Speaking of the devil, there's the 78 card. The inaugural winner at the track was Amy Shelley, so here she comes. Oh, it's actually Mary, sorry. Yeah, Mary's I was going to say, pretty sure it's Mary, actually. Yeah. 
Uh, looks like LePaul is not going to continue that streak going today. Steven Steven is not running too well right now. As JT Bryant, the Daytona 500 winner, all over the back bumper of Zachary Fitzwater right now. Lose a yeah, JT's now. been in top 10 in the points all season with only two top 10s and two top 5s. So. And trying to get back up towards the front as Zach Rogers closes in on the 18 of Henry Williams. Yeah, this was not really a surprise to see him. He was running top five at um, Road America before he took it out in the Kenny Momo crash. So, has a good road course program for Henry. Just struggles at the other tracks, it looks like. To be fair, though, his uh, his win was at... Uh, Code Cole. Co uh, Super Speedway, yeah. Yeah, and he won the All-Star race, too, you know? As Ebrahimian goes a little bit wide. Try That's not going to open the door, though, for the 40, it looks like. Instead, it's uh, Derek Hamill. Yeah. The two car is looking like it's on rails. I don't know, Isaac Flickinger is just like on drugs or something because that two car is on rails. Well, when he was able to get around the 01, didn't have to struggle with the 01 at all. Kind of it does help. You know, I would actually love to see the two car lap to 21 and she takes him out. That would be just so, that would be the greatest thing ever. Oh, God. <laughs> As right now, four cars throw a blanket over them almost right here. Rob Evans, Delon Ebrahimi, and Ali Nelson, and Kira Arenthade. Well, if, if that happens, I'm getting the Rick Allen uh, 2015 Martin's little sound bite going. <laughs> uh. <laughs> as that lead did stabilize a little bit, only a tenth of a second difference between the two cars. Well, it doesn't, yeah, the two's flirting with a disaster right there. 87 finally clears the 01 right there. As uh, gap the 01, yeah. Yeah, more like it, yeah. 37 with a good run. They were up there in the 500, but got screwed by lap cars, so showing a little speed. Only the second time this year, both front row cars were in the race. And the 34 got sponsorship, too, so not a bad weekend for them. Yeah, and Aaron Thade actually, ironically enough, 37 comes into this race 37th in the points, so a good run so far for them early on. Not for yet. <laughs> Sam Young didn't really set a good impression by killing half the field in duel last weekend, but he's trying to make it up right now. Uh... Well, that's the 34, who is yeah, back in 26. Not, yeah, not doing too well. There's the aforementioned 21 car right there. And the 84 as well. Yeah, not really doing too hot. Right I don't think we've had a, a wreck yet besides the pit lane one. Uh, at least if they did, they're, they did not fall out of the race due to it. I love how Ryan George uh, got its way towed to the pits. That's the greatest thing ever. I think the six, no, the 16 started back there, so they didn't run into trouble. Uh, Mark George started back there. He's back in 39th. Yeah, that's the. He's doing Daryl Walter things with that PC. It looks like right Although, now. Although Chris Wilson is up to 33rd. Uh, Chris Wilson just Jesus going through the field and keeping a point lead, even though he can't qualify for crap. <laughs> yeah, that is the one problem for that car. Yeah, they can't qualify for beans. And Isaac Flickinger able to just kind of run his own race. It looks like we won't be paying attention to him a lot today. Um, also, by the way, this would only be if the two, if Isaac Flickinger does not have any problems today. Assuming. This would only be the second time that the two cars ever won in the Coconut Cup Series. Ironically enough, race. it was at a road course too last season. As here comes Aaron Thay trying to peek around the out, or the driver's right of Ali Nelson. God. Are we and sure? Uh, Ebrahimi oh and Rob my. Evans, they're uh, almost side by side now. Oh boy. As. Looks like we're going to have a battle for third here. And it almost looks like the lawn chairs, the popcorn are coming out. Have a little bit of faith. <laughs> have a little just bit of faith. Just a little bit. As, I mean, to be fair, at least they're also still Hey, there. hey, hey, hey don't, don't blame me. Blame Isaac Flickinger. Well, more like blame the old one in this case. <laughs> oh, yeah, As we're going to blame, blame the female. Sexist right there. <laughs> I, to be fair, it's the old one that held up the 87 for almost a lap and then started to battle him again. Uh, well, As Ebrahimian's off oh, towards God. the sand. Is, uh, the dirt. That can open the door for Allie Nelson or now? Yep, Allie trying to get fourth. She hasn't had a top five in a long time, I don't know. She finished third last season at self correctly. So it's been a little bit of a while for her. Still looking for that first top ten of 2008. Yeah, it probably won't happen. Well, the ten car, the 40 actually have one of their few top tens 
last season where the ninth place with Williams. So they've been they ran pretty good with the COT car last year. Looks like they brought the same setup here. As Nelson gonna run a little bit wide. And Rob Evans now gonna try and have to deal with the 01. I'm more impressed we have so many cars still running. <laughs> Jackie Tang still on the lead lap, barely. In fact, a lot of team, 50. I, I heard a lot of teams were going to bring the record to bring their cars home, but it doesn't look like the case here right now. <laughs> Not going to be needed as much. It doesn't seem like it. Especially yeah. 9 and 10. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, pitch strategy is definitely going to help the race, but the two car, like I said, is on rails. That pit window going to be opening in the next couple laps now, actually. As Rob Evans trying to find a way around the 01, that's not the line you want to take. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rob was wheel hopping right there for sure. And the tires are starting to wheel. We have about a second fall off right now, so that's supposed to hurt the driver's performance in the corners. Zach Rogers and Henry Williams now battle for the seventh position, as there actually is a battle for a position back here that was going on. The 08 trying to get around the 07. Yep, you can watch the actual live direct TV hot pass right now. Uh, actually, that's Sunday ticket that's on that car, but thank you. Uh, well, yeah, you can watch Sunday ticket right there, so. We, we have on board to the 84 and the 82 car. Uh, speaking of, there's the double zero, the first to pit on what is lap 11 going on to 12. Yeah, so if they split it correctly, they could probably make Whoa. it to the end on three stops. I don't remember those skid marks there. Yeah, that's the 50. Okay. There's only two cars on pit road, yeah. Double zero and the 15, though, are on pit lane. Yep, the uh, comes to the attention for right there. And Jeff uh, James actually being a spot away from Rafael LeDuc. Uh, you mean Jack James? What'd I say? Jeff James. Whoops. <laughs> Jeff James is still retired, guys. Don't worry. Yeah, sorry. Jack James, yeah. As now, looks, ah, don't even remember what, now I'm sidetracked on what I was even going to try and say. Uh, well, the car made the corner, and then one car did it. Nelson trying to get a Up run now. four seconds for the two car. <laughs> Something tells me, though, that that still can come down at some point. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, anyways, here comes that As Flickinger will pit this time. Or pitting now. Has anybody got my shoe? Anderson will pit as well. Evans. And it'll be Delon Abrahimian the first to stay out an extra lap. Yep, first one to blink right there. Aaron Thade also stays out. Hmm. Zach Rogers in the 19 also stayed out that lap. And Baranowskis and Peter Onjak. Uh, yep, just a lot of guys. There's William Dunk. We haven't talked much about him this season. Let's see where double zero is at and we'll see where he kind of cycles out with the two. We imagine the two well, is going to get this uh, I think he's going to get by the, the the pack that stayed out, but I don't think it's too uh, short enough of a uh, overcut to pass the two car right there or the 87. Well, we'll see where the double zero is. Wow, I'm surprised they got this far up. Mm. There's gonna the get And uh, there's the 40. 18 overcuts the 40. Oh, you boy, the Gamma. 18 didn't overcut the 40. The 18 just jumped them. The overcut would have been the... The overcut would have been uh, the 40 and the 18 overcutting the double zero. Isn't that the same thing? No. Oh. Overcut is you go a lap longer. Undercut is you pit the lap before. Well, anyways, that was a good stop by the the 18 crew to beat the 40 out right there. As, as here, oh, God, this might be death. Kiderman and Henry Sanford battling for position as they go down into the S's. <laughs> no room given. Oh, God. <laughs> Back's up. And Henry oh, Sanford oh, actually going to stay out an extra lap. Uh, I don't think the 7 could pit, that's why. Everybody on pit a lane. Vast majority. Logan, Logan York, York. What a stop. Did he get towed or something? I don't no. know what's going on there. Logan York just take, did he take no tires? Oh, you know, oh, okay, never mind. No, the O2 is actually a lap behind the seven. Oh, I was about to say. He pit the previous time. Okay, I was about to be amazed so that they were So it looks like, so Henry Sanford is the only driver who is going to stay out an extra lap here. Uh, He's gonna go the, the farthest on this stint. 
I don't know what they did on that pit stop, but they, they have like the Jesus S Rainbow Warriors crew, but the two car just gained a crap ton of time on Anderson. Well, we'll have to wait and see what the lap. Well, that's the not difference. gonna help the gap. No. <laughs> As <laughs> we'll see if Henry Sanford pits this time around or not. Yeah, well, of course, Henry Sanford could go next to the lap on fuel. Why not? <laughs> I don't well, think it, I We'll try. see. I've seen well, some people go 15. Well, if Henry can go this gap, he can make it to the end of the race. He just has well, to save Well, he'll pit the extra lap. So he'll yeah. go 14 on the 15. And yeah, that so will cycle the lead yeah. back around to Isaac Flickinger. Uh, yeah, this is going to be huge. I don't even see the 78 in off the S's off yet. Well, there... Oh, 47. 47's on pit lane as well as the 50... Well, the 50 and the 01, that might be scheduled. Uh, who else is on there? I think there's somebody else. Uh, that, that is a seven-second gap. Oh, my Lord. If no, my math only... is right. Oh, the Lord, 09 man. is actually closed the gap on the 87. Are we sure Seth dnq <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> as, yeah, I'm sure he did. You need to get a real comp <laughs> soon. So, Rob Evans, though, is a lot closer now to the 87 than he was earlier. We've been broadcasting for somebody since 2013. You have a lot of inside jokes, as we obviously learned. True. <laughs> uh, so, issues apparently... Oh, that's a lengthy pit stop for those two. Not, Actually, no, wait. Getting... Hold up. The pit board's still in front of both of them. Oh, boy. Oh, no. And... My hopes might come true. Uh, put hopes. <laughs> I don't get what you mean. Um, we're not rerunning it. Well, I mean, well, Isaac Flickinger now officially cycles back around to the race lead. Max Anderson is second. Rob Evans third. Delon Abrahamian in fourth. And that's six second gap. And I don't have the Gene. Gene is just I don't know. I, As Aaron Thade. Derek Hamill, Henry Williams, Zach Rogers, Ali Nelson, and Mary Shelley now is the top 10. Baranowskis is in 11th. Uh, Peter Onjek 12th. Matt Dixon 13th. Battle for 14th between Alexander Rowe and JT Bryant. And Rowe going to get the job done around the outside. <laughs> Alexander Rowe with some balls finally. William Duncan is in 16th. Fitzwater 17th, Amy Shelley 18th, Adam McDowell is in 19th, and Steve Pollard is in 20th. Sam Young, Chris Levier 22nd, as we've got trouble! Oh, oh my Fitzwater! Oh, no. Fitzwater's involved! Like oh, Whoa. God! I think it was Adam Flickinger was involved as well. Somebody was off the dark there, too. Turn 3 has struck here at Mosport. It only took 16 laps. Peter on Jack's uh, on pit lane. Alexander Rowe was involved. God, that was a huge wreck. The 21 took a huge hit in the wall there. Uh, where was I in trying to go through the field now? Uh, I think we lost it. We were at Steve Pollard. Uh, well, he's inherited spots. So at this point, just showing you who's where. Uh, so Fitzwater's dead. I think that had to do with the outside lane 29 spinning, obviously. Yep. Um, well, so what I can tell you as an as an assumption based on what I know is oh, look that, at that what happened was yeah. someone went wide in turn three and then they got wrecked coming off of it. That's yeah, I, basically what I can say. I just don't know who did what. Now, my assumption on the 50 and the 01 is they, they ran out of gas or they got towed or something happened. Well, remember, they pit the they were pitting at the green flag. Yeah. So technically, they would go a lap longer than anyone else. As holy crap, the frames. Yeah, it's getting bad. Gene Sanford came into seventh in the points, and that is a uh, big. Well, hit for to be fair, part of that is like the computer can only take so much room. Holy crap, someone went off here. Oh, somebody's dying right here, and I'm telling you, oh my god. Abrahamian and Rob Evans making no, contact. Oh no! Evans gonna slide off oh, now. Right. How do you save that? How do you save that? As we found on Jack. On Jack get on your feet. Get off the lawn chairs. <laughs> we seriously, now we're going back to the lawn chairs in a second. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Who's got the lead? Oh, the that two cars. That is still the two. Uh, 
Uh, wait, wait. So, Spitzwater has gone car. behind the wall. Is there a lap car out of the 87? Oh, oh God, Gene Sanford is actually the lap car. And now Gene is causing the launch here to come out again. Mm -hmm. Well, there is the lap car in front of the two that he could catch feasibly. Logan York. As Anderson driving a little bit wide. That's not how you maintain. That's not how you catch the leader, uh, mm -hmm. Max Anderson. Looks like we'll have a battle maybe here between Nally Nelson and Zach Rogers. Whoops, I went to TV one too soon. Competition boss. Mm -hmm. Nice try. <laughs> it was a good try, wasn't it? Uh, Hancock. I mean, Zach Rogers finished second at our road for America. <laughs> I'm just going to let that one sit there for a little bit now. Hey, it's in, th it's in the year's uh, June 26th, you dirty you dirty perverts. Anyways, uh, the oh 19th, 19th finished, uh, so like I said, second at Road America. That helped that turn their season around. He's 19th in points now and running 9th here in this race right now. Adam Flickinger getting ready to battle with Willie, uh, Luke. Here's a go into the S's. Contact! Well, uh... Oh, oh, how did, saved I, it! Oh! How? Oh, he didn't really save it. Well, that might Luvier be death. Luvier and pretty Shaw. So now Luvier having to navigate the lap traffic. We're having a good time with Luvier, there, as you can yeah, tell. Uh, Stephen Paul III also battling with Sam Young in the 34 car. Yeah, Stephen won two road courses back in uh, season four, so he's definitely got good road course experience. As looks like this might actually be a decent battle enough. I might slide up there. Yeah, yeah, that's car. the lap car. And just barely cleared. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, yeah, pretty shot basically kind of helped him in this one. Hello, JT Bryan on pit lane. Pits. So, this could be scheduled. So, it looks yeah, like into see. the second round of pit stops. Yeah, JT is pitting for some big red. If you don't chew this stuff, you're stupid. And... Zorline and LeDuc battling for position as they go through the S's. Oh! Boy. Never, never close one. And the oh, Duke no, goes out wide. Oh, Jack James with a lot of respect for him right there. Jack James is going to try and capitalize as they go through turn one now. And there's Jesus behind them. Chris Wilson, the back the back to the front guy. And he is now up to 23rd. And that is not without, that is not while resorting on a wreck fest. He's done that basically on pure pace. That's why he's the points leader. Zorline out almost a little bit wide. Jack James does get the 21st spot away from LeDuc. Yep. And Pollard's still trying to battle with the 34's Sam Young. I definitely not going to Taco Bell for a while. <laughs> Shelton trying to make a move on the 77. Here comes LeDuc now back on the 28 car. Not able to make that move quite stick. Shelton we're has to duck back in line as well on the 77. We're still here. <laughs> and should be seeing the second round of pit stops officially kind of begin shortly. And uh, uh, see anyone yet. Uh, so I think this might be the first time in history if the two could pull it off. The first person to win every race in a weekend on a channel. I don't know if that's ever happened before, but we'll have to look at the stats book. Well, you mean on this particular channel? Yes. Uh, I don't re can ever remember anybody being that dominant. Uh, I can. Who? Fitzwater, Twin Ring. Oh, that's right. He swapped, uh... Did he start on pole? I don't think he started on pole, but he swept twin ring last year. Did we run trucks at twin ring or no? No. Okay, yeah, you're right, uh, correct. But this is like, he won two races. I think trying to win three. That is true. I mean, to be fair though, we didn't do dual races back then. As That's Chris Wilson that. has caught the 45, now trying to make a move on 
down the Mario Andretti straight. Oh, oh no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, son! Oh, oh you gotta God, make the move somehow! Oh! A little bit of contact there with the, the 22 and the 45. He ain't gonna wreck my boy. Oh boy, oh, the LeDuc's dead. Duke nope. survives, Shelton pits. Eight, one of the Red Bull cars was on pit lane as well Pretty as sure Derek Campbell. And the two, and the 87. Mm -hmm. And the 09. Meanwhile, Sanford, who went the longest in that first pit stop cycle, trying to pass the 45 now. If anybody takes out the two, they get a $50,000 bounty. Oh, jeez, no. <laughs> well, that's some editing. <laughs> Whoa, I'm Kevin Harvick, come on. Uh, Zach Rogers now going to try and pass the 18 of Henry Williams. I think that's the closest to the 87 but it's the two car all day. Mm -hmm. Well, since the start, maybe. Yeah, for sure. Stays in line. And Ebrahimian will pit this time around. Aaron Thade will do the same. Does the one have damage on its bumper? I don't think so. It looked like they had a little bit of it. No, they don't. Oh, yeah, right there. See? Yeah, I think that's how the paint scheme is, I think. Allie Nelson yeah, stays the... out. God, if Allie Nelson wins, this is going to save this race for sure. So, well, this definitely might end up being saved by strategy if that ends up happening. Well, if Allie wins, Charles is going to have Tom Gerard so level react. stays out in the 88. I'm going to have Tom Gerard reaction level Allie Nelson. There's wins. Logan York. There's LeDuc. And there is the two of Isaac Flickinger, who is the first one to come out pit lane so far. The one car overtakes the 87. Now that's an overcut. So the one makes the pass out on the overcut. That's that's what that's what doing an overcut is. Now in, in our great society world, the 66 would wreck the two, but we're not going to have nice things. Mm -hmm. Did the seven? I didn't see the seven. Did they pick? Uh, Henry, unless. Oh yeah. 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 Henry was like, I give up. Mm -hmm. So Ali Nelson pits on lap 25. Mary Shelley will pit as well. Uh, yep. Here comes the 88 car. Which I uh, don't think they can make it from here. Well, Zorline wrecked his teammate to make this race. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Leduc will also pit as well as James Qualls and Mark George, which again will hand the lead back to the two of Isaac Flickinger. And the two car is so close to them, it looks like on this one he might be able to overcut some of those cars without when he makes his pit stop and come out. Well, we'll have to wait and see. It depends what happens. Yep, Allie Nelson gets five bonus points for her, too. That is true. As Ebrahimian now into second. It is now Still seven. a seven. Still seven. seven. Yeah. Anderson's third, Aaron Thade's fourth, Good Rob Evans' her. fifth, Derek Hamill's in sixth. Wow, great pitch. Well, this should be interesting. Allie Nelson will be seventh. The battle is for eighth between Mary Shelley and Henry Williams. 18's going to grab that spot. Oh, God, that one was death. Zach Rogers then should be in tenth. We'll just follow this thing. Uh, yep, let's see if I can make any moves. The 40 car is not. Somebody went off. Yeah. Aaron looks. As Matt oh, Dixon clean, didn't try and make a move. Right there. Didn't even need to use the ripple strip. As looks like Matt Dixon should be able to try and overtake the 11. Uh, oh, no, never mind. Uh, as so, well, it's, it'll cycle around now, so let's see where everyone is. Because this is where I kind of lose track of it with all the battling that they did. 7.3 seconds for the 2 and the 1. Okay, so Shelley's 9th, Zach Rogers 10th, Baranowskis is in 11th, Matt Dixon 12th, William Duncan's up to 13th. That's great for that. Amy Shelley, Steve Pollard's up to 15th, Chris Luvier. Uh, McDowell, Jonathan Sorline, Stephen Paul the third, and Sam Young top twenty. Jack James, Adam Flickinger, Chris Wilson, LaDuke, James Qualls, Henry Sanford, Shelton, Mark George, William Flickinger, and Jeffrey White top thirty. 
Oh, trouble for Jesse Turner! Well, that's not fun. Oh, and that's not even a wreck related issue. That's just the engine has <laughs> gone kaput on the Energizer Dodge. Well, it looks like the bunny wasn't working today. Ethan oh, Kyle! Oh, that that's a that's Well, a maybe it was a wreck. Man. Well, the Chicago Land winner and the Auto Club winner are not playing nice with each other right here. So, and then Gene Sanford's back on pit lane now for that her scheduled stop. Uh, yep, the one car is. I don't know how far back. Oh, wow, it's going to eight seconds. Dear Lord Jesus. Well, I can't really help that one. As I don't think this was even the I and I's fault. If they'd gotten to where they could stay close at the beginning, it would have been way different. Well, Isaac Flickinger is this. Well, you know, even if this is a boring launch here race, Isaac Flickinger is definitely going to put his name in the history books with this performance this week. We can't underline that fact. As Rob Evans puts a couple wheels off, that's going to open the door for Derek Hamill. Contact! Yeah. Oh, oh boy! Oh, God, this is going to be big. Uh -oh. Hamill's off. Big. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is he going to come back on the track with a page like Ryan James? Uh, he'll come back on track, but he's going to be back in the 13th oh, and, position. Oh, and he's going to miss the corner oh, by three. Wide. As Amy Shelley going to take advantage and is going to gain at least one spot from the 82. Uh, we went from five instances in, in about 18 laps in duels to two in 28. <laughs> yeah, 78 card. Wait, what? I said that's not a bad change. Over as oh, uh, catching wow. the that's the yeah, 13, instead I think. Of, instead of cars trying to get the, the pits. Oh, oh my lord. <laughs> that was the 13. Is Rob oh, Evans is shit. not going to pit. Going to try and the right muscle thing, around. The track. Oh, Steve Paul. I mean, Steve Paul, the most recent winner here at most sport, too. Well, not going to win today. So we're going to go four for four <laughs> now here at uh, uh, most sport, actually. Oh, God. As Baranowski so, has caught her teammate, the 18 of Henry Williams. Good run for Gibbs, too. We don't really see a lot of two Gibbs in the top 10 performances. 18's got... D oh, yeah, they just wrecked. As oh, Matt Dixon ran right wide. Two, two of wrecking looks like coming up. Oh! Duncan clears. Duncan almost got taken out by Dixon right there. 18 cars a little bit off right there. As now Baranowski makes the move on the 18. Man, there must be some dirt in those cockpits, man. Well, to be fair, also, we're now at lap 29. Maybe those brakes starting to get a little bit soft. <laughs> it's definitely not soft in the 19 car, I'll tell you that for sure. Uh, <laughs> like, do not mention that one hard skunk. <laughs> Aaron Thade and Max Anderson bow for third. <laughs> oh god you know every time we hear that i mean if you ever watched the season one homestead finale for the uh, hooter series yeah then come back and make and make a comment <laughs> as battle for third between the 37 front row motorsports car and the 87 for uh <coughs> furniture row racing yep their second car doing pretty well they're not going to be Actually, this a is second. Both second car too to be fair yeah 37 37 the 37's coming back, the 87 is most likely not next year. Or, well, might be under a different team name, who knows. That is correct. And let's just see how far the two car can win this race by at this point. They're already up to eight seconds As and they got... Roger... Well, Duncan making moves again, he's past the 18 now. Well, Duncan, I believe his best stat is road courses, and he had a top 10 in every Road America race, so, I mean, uh, he's not too bad. Rob Evans is still past the cars. And no, that's rather than still falling back as now Steve Pollard tries to take 14th away from the 09. Yeah, Steve has missed about three in a row because he's blown up in every duel, which is conspiracy theory right there, but he finally made a rate. Oh, he's going to die right here because I said it. And Evans is going to turn him. Oh, no, he's not. And Evans trying to limp it to that next pit stop, basically. I don't know quite where the 18 would have gotten their damage, truthfully. Might have been the final corner right there, or maybe coming out of pit road, might a little, a little bit of contact there. As, uh, but, oh, clicked on my game. I and that's that what that uh, I can hear it, so there we go. Uh, so if the 37 wins, does that mean we have to get rid of this paint scheme? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Can't really vote for the car if it's already the all-star race. True. 
Uh, so this two is car. A... Oh my god, these frames. Yeah. I'm sorry, because I'm pretty sure I know why. And it ain't going to be friend. It's not going to be fun for me either. Later on. Yeah, you know, we got to get rid of some of those files on the computer, you know. Yeah, to go that's to those basically files. what yeah. it is. Yeah. As Anderson and Aaron, they're starting to kind of gap each other a little bit. So now I intend to... This looks like might be the most dominant performance in the Coconut Cup series. I could be wrong, but it uh, looking it'd like be, it. It'd be up there. Uh, yeah, the two car. I don't think he's caught the back of the field yet. He's not that dominant, but. Well, Aaron Thade actually has the fastest lap on record for the race, but Flickinger has the second, so it's not like he hasn't had a quick car. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, the two cars are gonna pull a Jimmy Johnson and fail post race tech. It looks like. <laughs> As Anderson going a little bit wide, is able to keep on the course for right now at least. Uh, Delon Ibrahimi has never won a Coconut Cup Series race. He ran the sixth last season. His best finish is fourth. So well, he would only two drivers in the top five have actually won a race that in is very the Cup true. Series. Whoa. Actually, top six. Very wide. Well, two out of the top six and only four out of the top ten. Yes, the 08, the uh, nice sky right there. Wrong the direction to go on the camera. Says Aaron Thade. Anderson going to try and throw the block, it looks like, actually. Yeah, Anderson's looking to get turned right there. Oh, don't do it, 37. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, Aaron my. Thade going to try and stick around the outside. Oh, pit wall, pit wall. Oh, God. Oh. I think he may have flipped it. She missed the pit wall somehow. She missed it by six inches. Gap actually did close for at least one lap. Well, that's a miracle. As now looking back here. Baranowskis there. Good run for Baranowskis. They, that team has struggled mightily. They're like the 50s in the points. Uh, true. Uh, 59th? Yep. Yeah. Didn't 50, last week in 59th in the points one. So maybe this is good uh, omen for uh, the, whoever gets 59th next week. Mm -hmm. Uh... It's, might be the 43. <laughs> Steve Paul, six. Yeah, maybe Steve Paul is uh 60th in points. He really needed this shot in the arm. 82 team currently 13th on the racetrack. Yep, Steve hasn't had a top 10 in a while, so he's looking for one. No, he actually got one this season. No, that's DNF. <clears throat> yeah, hasn't finished in the top 10 yet. Yeah, he hasn't really done too well this season either. And we should be getting ready to see them pit for the well, final time. Well, they put it on lot 25, so we shouldn't. You're saying oh. that. I knew well, when they would be getting ready to pit. Max I'll Anderson going to be the first one to pit in third. Well, if this is the last round of pit stops, I'm going to cry. Uh, it should be. You say that every time. As every time. Sim similarly. As Mary Shelley catching up to Ali Nelson for in a battle for f what is now fourth on the racetrack. Yep, females battling right here from top five. <sighs> I need to have like more water with me. Yeah, I know we're watching females battling the track. Sorry for that quiet, quiet spell. I'm dealing with a headache right now. I'm sorry, guys. And as uh, Charles is dealing with watching the females battle on the track, we're seeing the 40 car going a little wide right there. Oh god, Zach Rogers is off. Uh, he was off, but Baranowski is not able to make a move for the uh, for that position. Uh, Mary, Sh I don't even think Mary and Allie Nelson are real people, but anyways, the 08 on the back bumper. This is the Brian Clawson 40 car. The, the car ran at Charlotte 08, right from Peace to Clawson. And uh, too far. Isaac Flickinger is on pit lane, so that's going to hand the lead over to out or to Delon Everhemian. Can I please run down there and give him a 30 second penalty? <laughs> As once again, we have a quiet spell when the females are battling on track. We just have to avoid this omen it's right here. Headache. Yeah, it's, that's it's like, sorry. It's behind my eye, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's that desert sun. You know, when it's 100 degrees, that kind of. Yeah, we have excessive heat warnings going on now. They've already begun. Yeah, it's a it's a crisp 40 degrees and almost damn June in Massachusetts. Uh, meanwhile, refreshing my weather app right now just because, just because, 90 degrees. 
Uh, yeah, it's 40 here, so I wish it was halfway there. 40? It's 70 yeah, it's where I am. Yeah, it's in the 40s here. As Nelson gets the curbing, that might open the door for the 08 of Mary Shelley. We might have to go to Canada. I heard it's about 9 degrees at Canada right now. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fun. Yeah, well, we're at the, uh, snow. snow, man. It's almost June. <laughs> as Abrahamian will pit this time, I'm not expecting... I, I'll, as Errant Aid also pits, we'll see if anyone's able to actually risk this. Allie Nelson will stay out an extra lap, at least. Uh, if that was Allie, I would just go the whole distance. She's got nothing to lose. Gene Sanford on pit lane. Abrahamian yeah. gets the five bonus points for leading a lap. Knowing Allie Nelson's luck, she's going to pit the final lap. Uh, probably. <laughs> Sports check. Uh, a lot of Pepsi. I like, oh, I like how you freeze on the Pepsi logos. I, my game's choosing to click out random points. I can't help it. Yeah, even the, even the game's getting tired. As there's Isaac Flickinger. So it comes down to just Allie Nelson. Allie, Allie Nelson's Nelson. going to be the only person standing between Isaac Flickinger and a win here at Most Sport. Let, let me re let me relinquish that statement. Ali Nelson versus Isaac Flickinger. Who would have ever thought that statement ever came out of somebody's mouth? And Nelson actually keeping on the track there. That's a nice line. Unfortunately, you know, I don't see this going well. Well, if the 40 car can just pump the brakes for about, I don't know, seven laps, they can probably yeah. do it. They got to be clutching at the, at the slow corners. Well, I mean, Ali has clutching. That's I mean, Ali has a lot of experience at the back of the field, so she should be used to it for this. Well, and Nelson Jeez, will pit. pit. Nelson, you bat. So of all the times I was actually bragging about all the strategy, and it doesn't even happen. Great. Oh, God. Seth, you're back in the race. It's not even, like... What's funny is it's not even a change to the I and I that happened. Like, the only change to the I and I from when I was testing earlier was the pit stall. I guess that pit stall changed screw this whole damn thing up. <laughs> Well, I don't think the uh, 49 breaking like it did help either. No, that really didn't help. I got to give you that one, Charles. I can't As disagree. As Isaac Flickinger goes back to the race lead, Delon Abrahamian is in second. This is one of the best dominant performance. It might be at a DQ because he's so dominant. Parente but we saw third, Anderson now in fourth. Nelson will come out still in fifth. Well, last last season we saw Steve Paul at the road at the short track lap up to the top 20. That was pretty dominant. But this this is a 43. This is one of the longest race, 420 miles that we've actually ran. And the two cars led about I don't know about maybe about uh, 33 or 32 in the laps. That is putting on a performance. By the way, you were talking about it might be a longer time frame one than uh, the Coke 600. Coke 600 is still gonna be 100 laps. Oh, that's gonna be long as hell. Man. Steve Pollard, Matt Dixon, battle for 10th on the racetrack. Uh, where's their, I think, is that Chris Wilson? Oh, that's William Duncan. That is William Duncan, the 31. Has anybody, we haven't really checked the back of the field. Has anything happened? Um, the 42 no. lost clutch. Oh, oh the 82 can... just blew off! Oh. Charles, you motherfucker! <laughs> Conspiracy? Conspiracy? <laughs> I'm checking the engine ratings after this race. This is a bull ass. <laughs> 82. This is the off. second time out of the oh, God, second God. time oh, in one. three weeks the 82 is blown up. <laughs> oh, one off in the grass. How can this happen? How could this happen to me? <laughs> Two out of three weekends. 44 is now in 12th, 78 is third, 88, that was... Boom! <laughs> I cannot believe that happened, that is hilarious. No, it's not. <laughs> Last week, well, Steve ADT Paul got go screwed by... They didn't go Let, automatic. Let's... Oh, sorry, Charles. They didn't go automatic. So we've had some interesting things happen in this one that did not happen in my test race. Let me give you a recap of Steve's last few weekends. He got blew an engine in the D in the duels. Last weekend got screwed over because of a reset. And now this weekend he blows up during the race. The hell, man. <laughs> As Abrahamian struggling to get around the 47 of Gene Sanford. Yes. 
Aaron and Jane is third. No let me guess nearby. about it. We're going to have a real pressure issue. And there's the best battle on track is between Amy Shell or sorry, Mary Shelley and Allie Nelson. Ignition. All right, the A2's out. Uh, the ignition. We blew the damn ignition. <laughs> I think he had an ignition problem on that car earlier this season, too. Damn, we did so bad. The 05 by passes in points. Uh, 05 hasn't even. The 05 was 160 points behind him. And they didn't even show up this week. Yeah, they, they, they could. We stole their ignition, apparently. <laughs> As right now, this is the best battle on track. Nelson trying to fend off for fifth right now on the 08. Yep, it's down the inside there. Uh, the one car is saving the gap, so it's in a 10 second win so far. <laughs> Imagine they actually uh, had to pit again. I don't so think they Isaac's shouldn't have, gonna to have a, Isaac's gonna have a shot at the truck championship and maybe the cup, is he in the Xfinity series? I don't believe so. As there are four laps to go for Isaac Flickinger and the gap further extended to 7.6. And now Mary Shelley falling back a little bit from the 40. Yep. Let's see if there's any other better battle on track. Let's just see. Oh, this is a well. Wow, Mark George up to 17th at least. James Qualls yeah, 16th. From Sam the back of the run. Good run for the steel uh, car right there. I, I think the 84 fell off a cliff too. Uh, not sure. Maybe yeah, he had to crash. He was in the top 15. 84 is 31st right now. Yeah, they were battling the 34 half the run. As here comes Qualls now, going to try and make a move on the 34. Yep. Um, so the two car is, looks like they can only win a road course in the series. It's a good battle right here. The 18 is falling off. Well, remember, Henry Williams had that damage that caused him to fall back on a run. Yep, Jack James with a different paint scheme back right there. And Chris Wilson going to push the 12 back out in front of this. Side yeah, by side into the S's. Side here. Oh, contact. Oh, Nearly God, contact. Chris Wilson's done it. Oh, Chris Wilson's... Oh! oh. <laughs> and yet, so far, and... Oh, God. Wilson That's trying it around the outside. Oh. Contact oh, between the 18 and 22. Oh, Chris Wilson is playing no games, man. Battle for the 19th position here at Mosport. Goes the way of the 18. Yep, as, um... That's all I gotta say. Oh God, somebody went way off. Well, we've seen but them run wide. That's, at every, that that's everyone. Yeah they, yeah, they just go wide on that corner anyway, so. As Williams now trying to find a way back around the 12 about and Flickinger possibly. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Nope. Not quite. Jack James goes a little bit wide. That might open the door for the seven of Henry Sanford. Very curious. But later on, we check back the replay. And what caused those cars to crash into three? Because that's a place we never expect that to happen, right? Um, so I can, I'll, I can tell you probably after we finish this up, because I kind of know about what would help cause that. Henry Williams going a little bit wide there through ten, and Jack James is pitting, coming to two to go. Can the two car please pit? Well, he's got seven and a half seconds, so I think he is pretty safe to make it. Yeah. Unless they, again, somehow failed, failed. <laughs> well, that would be <laughs> a very heartbreaking way for to lose oh, a race. As, oh, help me. To be fair, actually, by the way, if he... So, looks like he will be able to hang on to this. This will be two out of the last three road courses that the Blue Deuce has actually won. Because it was uh, Mustang yes. last, it was Mustang last season. And then now this is the second road course of the season here. 
You have to cover that one of the do most dominant performance in the Colt Canelo Cup Series. Definitely got to be up there. What a drive by Isaac Jonas sweep the entire game. The only race he didn't win was Duel 1. You know why he didn't win that race? He wasn't in that race. And he's going to be pulling off all the races he's in this week. A win. As Ali Nelson has caught the 87 of Max Anderson. Yeah, Max. Nelson yeah. ran the quickest lap of the race at some point during this particular run. Yeah, those fresh tires. Very important. And Mark George is up there, too, but George was pretty far in the pack. Well, he never really could recover. He's back in 17th still. And coming into turn number five for the final time for Allie Nelson. Can she make a move on the 87 of Max Anderson? This is the battle for fourth. Not going to be able to get there. Good corners for both of them. Yep, and one of the most dominating performances oh. in the Cove Vanilla Cup Series. He's not going to worry about that. He can pit right now and still win. And coming through the final corner, Isaac Flickinger is going to grab his second career win, and it comes here at Mosport. Yep, that sums up the race. And it's going to be a long way back here to the one of Delon Ever. He mean, he comes across the line eight or 7.97 seconds back, actually. Aaron Thade third, Anderson, Nelson, the top five. There's Mary Shelley. Zach Rogers, Baranowskis, William Duncan in ninth, and Matt Dixon rounds out the top ten. That's all we have to pretty much. Oh, good job with the 43 car. Adam Flickinger going to win that battle for 18th. Uh, 09 apparently. 09 had to pick coming to the white flag apparently. Yeah, the 84 ran into problems too. We gotta see what happened to him. And it's gonna be one of the final cars on the lead lap. JT Bryant pitting coming to the white flag. Jack James could not make it. And Logan York, the last car on the lead lap in 30th. Yep. So with that, Isaac Flickinger wins the race. The rest of the top ten we mentioned already was Ebrahimian, Aaron Thade, Anderson, Nelson, Shelley, Rogers, Baranowskis, Duncan, and Dixon. Aren't they the only rookie in the top ten and only one of two rookies in the top 15? So definitely a veteran-type day here at Most Sport. Uh, oh, 84 and double zero wrecked out. Oh, great. <laughs> Just great. Just great, man. Just bleeping wonderful just just awesome uh so uh, as you see the bomb of the results uh steven and austin your final thoughts on this one austin you go first and i'll go after yeah he has to compose himself <laughs> wow, wow. Well, well i enjoyed uh all the pollens uh wrecking out we went wow <laughs> anyways well, race. We didn't expect uh, some parts of the race. To, uh, some parts of the race to not happen, especially uh, in the parts that we did not expect cars to wreck. And thankfully, some people were actually calm in the turns nine and ten, uh, for the most parts. And uh, yeah, never a great race uh, here in uh, Canada. Well, uh, Isaac with his second career win is second with his new team. I believe last year was his rookie year, so he's won every year so far for him. Abrahamian's best career finish. His Allie first Nelson. with his new team, by the way. You yeah, Ali Nelson. Oh, sorry. Ali Nelson with her first top five since I believe South Boston last season. Zach Rogers, another good road course run for them. Duncan with another road course top ten. Uh, Mark George up to 17th. Probably will still use the pass as the champions next season. Chris Wilson is most likely going to lose the points lead. Uh, Rob Evans fell back one of their rare make the race and running bad run, but they crashed, obviously. Uh, the race was, uh, yeah, it wasn't that good. But the two car were the most dominating performance. Uh, next weekend, we are going to Sonoma for another long ass road course race. It's 48 laps next week. Next weekend or in two weeks, I'm not sure how the video is being uploaded. So we saw last season James Qualls won a pitch strategy. So hopefully next weekend I do not fall asleep in the booth and we have a good race to Sonoma. And I hope y'all stay safe from the coronavirus.
So with that, congrats to Isaac Flickinger on the win, his first with Penske Racing, and the second win in the Cokeville Cup Series for that Miller Lite Dodge and the Penske Racing number two team. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you haven't today for more gaming and racing related content. For Stephen Paul III and Austin the Plant, I'm Gordon Fain 291, and this has been a production of the NRSL. We'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Leave Yawn. Canada, please. <laughs> <laughs> you leave Canada, please. Get out of here. I can't.